Mr. Beast has been reigning the internet for a while now, from boasting 331 million subscribers on YouTube to becoming the first person to reach 1 million followers on Meta's new social app Threads. He has passed every milestone any YouTuber could dream of. Known as the undisputed king of YouTube, the man-made generosity of his brand transformed the platform with his insane giveaways and epic challenges. Let's keep going. There we go. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. We're so close. Oh my gosh. That was so, I was, wow. We did it. Oh, they're going to throw confetti on me. I recreated every single set from Squid Game in real life. And whichever one of these 456 people survives the longest wins 456 grand. The first game we're going to play is Red Light, Green Light. I recreated Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory in real life. And one of these 10 people is going to walk away with this Chocolate Factory. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. In we go. Oh. Whoa. Wow. Yo. Welcome to my wonderful creation. I put 100 people inside of a giant circle, and whoever leaves the circle last wins $500,000. But if you touch the red line, it's game over. I don't care how long this takes, whichever one of you leaves last wins half a million dollars. <laughs> this is half a million dollars in cash, and whichever one of them I tag last keeps it. 10, 9, 8, Oh my god, seven, oh my god. Oh boy. Four, three, All right, we're two, going into the stadium. One, ready or not. But recently, there's been a question that's starting to linger. Is Mr. Beast's legacy at risk? With the rise of new competitors, some controversy surrounding his business practices, and even the emergence of global icons like Cristiano Ronaldo looking to leave their own mark, the future of Mr. Beast's reign isn't as certain as it once was. Let's dive in and see if Mr. Beast's legacy is under threat, or if he's still at the top of his game. But well, what if Ronaldo beats you? Oh, now we're having the real conversation. <laughs> Ronaldo gained 60 million subscribers last Shut month. Shut up. I broke the world record for most subs gained in a month. It was like 20 million. And then two months later, Ronaldo comes on <laughs> and 3Xs it. Uh, it's like this platform's existed for 15 years. I shatter <laughs> the record and then Ronaldo just 3Xs it his first month on the platform. He's got to be the biggest superstar. Oh yeah, he's crushing, obviously. You know, if there was someone who would pass me, I mean, it would be Ronaldo. You do not have to be a sports fan to marvel at the legacy created by the GOAT Cristiano Ronaldo. His influence is undeniable. He's not just a footballer, he's a global brand. With over 600 million followers across platforms like Instagram and Twitter, he's arguably one of the most influential figures in the world. How'd, how'd you feel when you hit a billion followers across everything? Most followed man on the planet here. It's good, good achievement, yeah. but not, not surprise me, to be honest. But it's cringe because there's 30 people watching. <laughs> All right, next question, next question. Ronaldo, who already has a colossal following on social media, is reportedly aiming to expand his reach into YouTube. And the signs suggest that he's not just looking to dabble in content creation for fun. He wants to leave a legacy that challenges everyone around him no matter what. What's the goal, you might ask? It is not only to produce viral content, but also to rival Mr. Beast's legacy. This isn't just speculation. Ronaldo has been making moves in the YouTube space, partnering with some of the biggest brands, creating his own content, and even making an appearance with none other than Mr. Beast himself in a famous video titled, I Meet Mr. Beast to Break the Internet. This video, as predicted, reached 4 million views in the first four hours of its release, fulfilling its prediction of being groundbreaking content for both sports fans and YouTube fanatics. Now, the question that's being asked is, could Ronaldo's entry into the YouTube world pose a legitimate threat to Mr. Beast's reign? Is he eyeing a future where he surpasses Mr. Beast's influence and legacy, just as he did with football's greatest records? Well, I w you have a billion <laughs> followers. I, I want to have a billion subscribers on YouTube. So Imagine. Much. Yeah. It'll take a while, but yeah. Take a while. We're on, right now we're on 320 million. Well, that's what the world has yet to witness. However, there is no doubt in the fact that Mr. Beast, AKA Jimmy Donaldson, is slowly starting to feel his power on YouTube slipping away. Being a football maestro, Cristiano has seen the world and understands exactly how to bring yourself to the top of the game. So when it came to his collaboration with Mr. Beast, he left no stone unturned to hype up the well-received interaction. From leaked images of the two people talking to revealing the location of the video, which was Saudi Arabia, where Ronaldo currently plays for Al Nasser. Ronaldo played all cards to ignite excitement within his viewers regarding his latest video, and he obviously was successful.
Keeping the name of the guest hidden was surely a genius move. This forced the fans to speculate whether Ronaldo's longtime rival, Messi, might be the one who would sit down with his arch nemesis and talk about each other's beloved legacy. Well, for me it's a pleasure that I have so many subscribers that like Cristiano, keep, keep posted, uh, the new stuff will coming soon, you will love it so much because we have very nice things that coming out soon. So, check it out. Be ready. Subscribe. Thank you, guys. Take care. However, fans were not disappointed when they figured out who the mystery figure actually was. This collaboration stems from mutual benefit and in a sense allows the fans to see how Mr. Beast would actually react to sitting with the man who has all the power to dethrone him. And the fans were not wrong in assuming that something juicy would come out of this interaction. If you know anything about body language, you can quite easily detect a hint of unease in Jimmy Donaldson's mannerisms. When I did this, you're probably wondering, how many tiles are on these walls? The correct answer is 1900. And if you want the roof and floor included, then it's 2860. But more importantly than all of that, according to my stomach, it is time to eat food. You're wondering how I'm eating during so it's just me in this white padded room, oh. and I have no clue what time it is. is oh my god! <laughs> and soundproof. And was it the hardest one? Oh yeah, this is so hard because like the lights never turn off, so you, you don't see the sun or anything. So you. I should probably stop. And so you just want to feel stimulation, so you start like yeah, pinching yes, yourself. Yes, yes. And then, 90 hours in. Wow. And that's only halfway, so that one was brutal, but. The lack of eye contact, the fake laughing, the constant unneeded advices, and most importantly, his own words show nothing but insecurities on the YouTube legend's part. To reach 60 million. Probably 13 years. That is the end. Yeah. Yeah, it took me like- You think oh, I'm gonna beat you? <clears throat> <laughs> you think honest? No. You think honest? No. So I'm under there. No. In fact, one could even argue that the YouTube king embarrassed himself in front of the GOAT while trying to look nonchalant. With jokes that just didn't land and questions that targeted Ronaldo's strategies, Mr. Beast dug himself a deeper and deeper hole as he kept talking. Been in the same way, not surprised. I'm the same way. Whenever I hit a milestone, I'm like, cool. Anyways. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. Yes. Everyone's always like, oh, you should celebrate. It's like, why? We're we gotta are, keep yes, grinding. Yes, yes. I, feel, I feel the same way. I'm 39. Okay and a few months. Okay, almost 40. Yeah, almost 40. You're about to die, you're getting and, old. Uh... <laughs> when I, he's obviously way more famous than me. And when I sit in a normal seat, you have people running up and down the aisle going, can we have a photo, photo, photo? And like, for him, like, the entire plane would just turn into a photo booth. It would be, what's the biggest game? Who, who, who's Listen, your rivals? Ali Lal. Is, Ali Lal? Uh, yes, yes, yes. All right, boys, let me know when they play Ali Lal. But aside from this interaction, there are other factors too that insist upon Mr. Beast's potential downfall. Not too long before this collaboration, the YouTube legend found himself stuck knee deep in a controversy so foul that his fans were forced to rethink their decision of trusting the man they called a YouTube icon. I think it's wrong to dangle this huge prize money, a $5 million carrot in front of people's faces who really need it and take advantage. I don't think it's okay to actually shoot shows that are like the Hunger Games. 
Well, it's not the Hunger Games, but Be Beast Games. That's at the center of the lawsuit here. Not too long ago, Mr. Beast got publicly exposed not only by his ex-employees for his shady business strategies, but also because of the predatory nature of his best friend and co-host, Ava Tyson. To put the cherry on top, popular YouTuber Rosanna Pensino also released a video where she dissected Mr. Beast's entire career, leaving no stone unturned to finish off the fake persona that Jimmy Donaldson had presented to the world. In spite of that, in July, Pansino went public again, this time on TikTok. I wanted to keep you guys updated on what I've been hearing about Mr. Beast's Beast games. She says that she's created a safe space for contestants to share their experience on Donaldson's new reality competition series. To make matters worse, a YouTube channel called Dogpack404 released an almost hour-long video detailing Mr. Beast's fraudulent tendencies and how easily everyone seemed to ignore them. The icing on the cake. The channel actually belongs to an ex-employee of the YouTuber himself, so the claims made in the video obviously hold immense weight. Literally every single creator is exposing Mr. Beast. It all started with the Ava Chris Tyson situation, and many people were exposing Mr. Beast for being complacent with what she was doing. But very quickly things started to get worse. When a bunch of evidence came forward of Mr. Beast manipulating his audience to buy his products and watch his content. A former employee of his made an hour-long YouTube documentary detailing how Mr. Beast tricks his fans into buying his products, as well as using a bunch of CGI to allegedly fake his videos. The former employee claims that the only people who actually win money from Mr. Beast's videos are usually friends or family that he knows in real life, and they are rarely ever random subscribers like Mr. Beast claims that they are. Speaking of ex-employees and controversies, Fresh concerns have been raised about Mr. Beast exploiting collaborators and participants in his projects. These issues paint a troubling picture of the environment behind the scenes of his widely celebrated videos. He is not the same person that he is on camera as he is off camera. Pansino met Mr. Beast, whose real name is Jimmy Donaldson, about five years ago. I have a heart for philanthropy and giving back, and that's how he presented himself as a good guy who loves to do charity and likes to make big, fun, silly YouTube videos. And whichever one of these 456 people survives the longest wins 456 grand. Pansino even went into business with Donaldson. KSI, Mr. Beast, and Logan Paul have announced they are teaming up and launching a new food product called Lunchly to compete with the uber popular kids brand Lunchables. And the reception has been less than stellar. Many creators took to social media to criticize the product and the creators themselves. Logan and Jimmy were quick to push back on the critics with their own posts and in the process created newsworthy headlines like, YouTube stars are coming for your kid's lunch. It's a move that has Mr. Beast, Logan Paul, and KSI teaming up to take on Lunchables. Mr. Beast's Beast Games series, for example, led to a class action lawsuit where contestants alleged insufficient wages, denial of basic needs like food and sleep, and even sex harassment during production. Such claims have raised significant questions about how Mr. Beast's high-stakes content impacts those involved in creating it. We talked about the massive crypto investigation into Mr. Beast, where there was a document released with several allegations of shady crypto behavior involving several currencies and tokens. Where according to the document, he would promote and sell coins to get absurd returns, like making $11 million from allegedly a 100k investment. Mr. Beast has just been sued by five people in a class action lawsuit, and it's not looking good. This lawsuit is regarding Beast Games and Mr. Beast's Amazon show. Mr. Beast is currently undergoing the most massive cover-up in YouTube history. He's allegedly deleting thousands of comments, editing out his old videos, and, and even sending some cease and desist letters to ex-employees speaking out about this. And finally, a lot of the Squid Game IRL contestants complained that the games were too real and a lot of people got injured. The contestants in the Internet Stars Beast Games expected outlandish challenges and signed contracts that acknowledged risks. While Ronaldo and these controversies represent external competition, Mr. Beast is also also facing a new wave of up-and-coming creators on YouTube. These creators focus on authenticity and relatability rather than spectacle. Channels like Ryan Trahan, who won hearts with his Penny Challenge series, have gained a massive following by offering fresh and innovative content. This shift in audience preferences highlights a growing divide. People are starting to value smaller, personal stories over high-budget the top productions. Can I help you? The casket got delayed. Oh, uh, okay. What is this? What does Mr. Beast think of Ryan Trahan? Speaking of Ryan Trahan, yeah. is there any inspiration you've taken from him being like that he's kind of the 
next Mr. Beast, but we were saying it in like a, a low budget way. How much have you watched his videos and have you taken any inspiration uh, from No, what he's doing? I can't do what Ryan does. I mean, he's like Emma, you know, yeah. like they're mm. just different, you know, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan has fun and Ryan's happy. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan's, a, Ryan's, Ryan's the YouTuber you want to be, man. Ryan's like, I Ryan's agree. The YouTuber Ryan, you want to be. Dude, I said that yesterday in the car. I was like, if there's one YouTuber I'm jealous of, it's Ryan Trey. Exactly. Yeah. Ryan's got a great life. Yeah. Man's making money. <laughs> Man's having a good time. He's got a wife. And yeah. He's happy. Like, yeah. you want to be him. Okay. So, what does the future hold for Mr. Beast? Is his reign over or is he just getting started? Honestly, it's hard to say. He's been able to reinvent himself time and time again, even with the pressure mounting. Jimmy has shown that he's not afraid to push boundaries, take risks, and find new ways to engage with his audience. We're about to give a million dollars to a stranger. Hey, is there a sherry here? This is a mountain of pennies. And for the next seven days, every time one of you subscribes, she wins a penny. Please subscribe, please. Oh, oh, oh no. What happened? Oh, oh, it works. So even if his popularity is starting to plateau, I wouldn't count him out just yet. One thing we know about Mr. Beast is that when you think he's at his limit, he just blows everyone away with something even bigger. There are definitely signs that the YouTube landscape is changing. Do you think Mr. Beast's time is up or will he continue to dominate? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell for more videos on the latest trends, drama, and updates in the world of YouTube. Catch you in the next one.